In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best export settings for DaVinci Resolve 18 and 2023. Don't forget, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me down in the comments. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So many of you guys are thinking of uploading more videos for 2023 as your New Year's resolution. And you guys may cross upon this amazing editing software called DaVinci Resolve 18. Now, after editing your video, you guys are in the delivery tab and click on this YouTube 1080p or 1440p or 2160p, whatever you guys want it, and put it into YouTube. But when you watch it, it doesn't look the same. It looks like some parts of the video lose that high quality for some odd reason. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the best export settings that you guys could use and the settings that I use for this same video. So what you guys wanna do is click on custom export and you wanna mess around with the file name and the location. So file name, let's go example, oops. And location, let's just save them straight to our videos. Now right here, this might be overwhelming for some people and I understand because I was the same way format you want to click on mp4 and unless you're in mac you could click uh quicktime but mp4 or quicktime works codec i use h.264 and quarter depending if you have a nvidia graphics card built in either in your laptop or in your pc i would always choose nvidia because it's quicker but if you don't just choose native it's fine uh, I'm going to do it first for native and then for NVIDIA, which is the same thing, but this is a little bit of a twist. Resolution, here is where it's actually important. I'm currently recording my face cam with this iPhone 11 and my screen recording with OBS at 1080p with 60 frames per second. But if you watch this video and click on the settings for the quality, the highest is 1440p. And it's not because YouTube messed up or anything, it's because I purposely increase the quality for when i have a lot of movement in the video the quality doesn't diminish throughout the video so that's a little hack for you guys so in resolution instead of clicking 1920 by 1080 we click on custom and we put 2560 by 1440 and this is only if you are planning to record 1080p with 60 frames per second if it's 4k just bump it up to 4k it doesn't matter but 1440p with 60 frames per second basically tricks youtube that you're posting a higher quality frame rate 60 frames and right here on the restricted people do it best which is fine but i like to change this 10,000 to 50,000. i do have to warn you that if you choose to have your bit rate as 50,000 your video size is going to be larger but it's going to be worth it if you don't have enough memory for some reason in your laptop or in your memory card choose 35,000. but if you have plenty of memory and plenty of space i would recommend 50,000. and all these settings just leave it the same if you have a nvidia graphics card it's basically going to be the same thing right here you could mess with the encoding settings i like to have this on high and the rest just leave it the same and for you guys won't forget your exporting settings what you guys could do is click right here on the top right save as a new preset and just call it whatever you want so whenever you go ahead and export your videos you could just click right here and these are all the presets that i have hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick and short video if you guys have any questions please let me down in the comments and if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to please subscribe and hit the button. And see you guys later. Take it easy, guys.